Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Today we will be discussing trading strategies for Nifty and Bank Nifty as well as we will highlight few stocks that are expected to do well in today's trading session. But before that let's go through with global cues. Asian markets are trading with mixed gains. US stock futures are in the green. However, global macros are slightly turning in favor of emerging markets. The bond yield dropped to 4.05, it was at 4.20 levels and the dollar index is trading below the level of 102. The positive part is the gap between 2 year bond yield and 10 year bond yield is narrowing down and is narrowed to 75 bips points from 100 bips points. If it continues for next one one and a half month till the announcement of the next uh, interest rate um, from the Fed, then uh, it will be a big positive because then in that case Fed may take uh, pause from increasing interest rates. The gift Nifty is up nearly fifteen points, and um, the setup of the market indicating us that we should be buyer if there is any correction in the market. 19,450, 19,425 will be uh, could be important support zone, and if we see the market is dropping to those levels, we should be buyer with the stop loss at 19,300. Based on the formation, we are we are of the view that 19,300 is going to act as short term support for the market until the markets are not breaking to the same. We are expecting upward activity or pullback activity. And in the pullback, the market may move up to nineteen thousand seven hundred, and in the best case scenario, nineteen thousand eight fifty. So we should be buyer if there is any correction. On the higher side, the resistance will be at nineteen thousand five fifty. For the Bank Nifty, there is there we are expecting mixed sort of sentiment, and um, it is going to remain in a range. We are not expecting Bank Nifty to cross the level of forty five thousand five hundred so easily. at the same time below 44500 we can expect 44300 or 200 levels the state bank has reported its number which are still in line with expectations in fact they are little bit higher than the expectations but pnb is disappointed on the uh, pat front broadly uh, we are of the view that uh, we should be a buyer in the bank nifty if it falls to 44300 or 200 levels Uh, for the other indices, uh, Nifty IT did well. Uh, they, we are expecting further more activity in IT stocks, but currently they are much uh, far away from their recent lows. So, in case if there is any correction, then we should be buyer with a medium to long term view. Uh, for the com- from the commodity space, we like cement stocks. Most of the stocks are turning higher. Uh, Ultra Tech Cement as well as uh, ACC should do well based on their technical patterns. And uh, mid-cap companies, in fact, are in the limelight, like India Cements, uh, Shri Dig Vijay Cement, um, or um, even Sagar Cement. They are doing much better uh, on the on the weekly, monthly basis. Uh, also, if we uh, go through with a few metal companies, then in that Tata Steel as well as uh, Jindal Steel and Power should be on the watch list. Uh, we also like few pharma companies uh, today there is some news flow for cipla so we may see some lower opening but we should be buyer with a medium to long term view also uh, we like uh, lupin laboratories if it corrects to the levels of 925 950 and uh, finally for um, this uh, infra companies we need to focus on railway related companies uh, that's all from my side with this i'm ending today's morning podcast thank you very much for listening me have a great day to all of you